Here in town, the family of one of the three workers killed in the Hard Rock Hotel collapse is hoping their loved one's remains will be recovered maybe today or this weekend. There are two bodies still buried in the rubble. The body of the third man who was killed was removed shortly after the collapse. Our Megan Key is joining us live on North Rampart Street where crews have been working since this morning. And Megan, they are making progress, correct? Yes, Eric, they are making progress. You know, demolition crews have been out here since 730 this morning working to remove this rubble. Now, it does appear that work has stopped temporarily. They're probably on a lunch break. Uh, but earlier this morning, even as early as 10 minutes ago, there was a large claw out here moving rubble and two remote controlled robots that appear to be digging in the area where 36 year old Quinion Wimberly was killed. Wimberly's family anticipates his remains will be recovered today or tomorrow. Back in May, crews began a phased demolition process where they first targeted surrounding buildings that needed to come down and then worked their way to the Hard Rock Hotel site. Now, when the plan first came out, workers were aiming to recover the remains of Quinion Wimberly and Jose Ponce Areola, the two construction workers killed in the collapse in early June. But crews say weather and equipment issues got in the way of that. Frank Wimberly Jr. has waited nearly 10 months to say goodbye to his younger brother, Quinion Wimberly. He hopes that they'll get his brother out soon and the family can soon begin the healing process. We are preparing to tell him goodbye. It's almost like we living it all over again. That's when anxiety is coming in at, you know, just to get in that call and say, you know, we're, we're getting him. I was very adamant about this not being his final resting place. You know, got to bring him home. Well, if everything goes right, Wimberly's family is hoping to have Quinion out of that building either today or tomorrow. His family tells me that demolition crews have told them they'll then go after Jose Ponce Areola's remains and try to get that out next week. Reporting live on North Rampart Street, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. All right, Megan, thank you very much.